Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'm gonna give you a really cool tip on how to control shading on difficult bullions. It works every time. Let's go. So now you're probably gonna watch some videos about people telling you that you need quite apology in order to have a really good shading, which is only half true and not always true. Even with quads, you can have bad shading if you don't know what you're doing. The type of topology doesn't matter. What matters is the quality of topology and topology that actually fits your purpose. Just a quick interjection here. We have a fantastic free course for anyone who would like to progress in the knowledge of Blender. It's called Hard Surface Jumpstart. It's free. It's on our website, link in the description. And it will teach you so much about hard surface, give you such a nice boost to your studies that you will not believe it's free. Go ahead and grab it and enjoy. So let me show you something very interesting, okay? Here I'm gonna grab a plane and I'm gonna subdivide it into, you know, quite a few, um, uh, maybe not that many, that many will do, a few uh, subdivisions and manually and RX90, and I'm gonna bend it with hard ops. So go to hard ops, and let's apply the rotation and hold control and just simply bend this. Then sharpen, then go to modifiers, at solidification, press two, to solidify both ways go to d, uh, d with um, box cutter and enable the circle and let's cut it with like maybe 80 verts okay so it's quite dense you can see 80 verts here on the top shift to and let's see uh, uh, what happens when we're gonna add the bevel now if i'm gonna add the bevel you're gonna have to see you're gonna see some breakages here and there but more or less it looks pretty clean of course if i'm gonna go crazy i'm gonna have problems now I can very easily fix this by simply applying that to Smart Apply. Click, Alt, Click and go into Offset Cut with Mesh Machine. I'm going to, you know, fix this very quickly. So can I decrease this, um, you know, this offset here. There we go. And look at the shading. The shading is perfect. Look at my topology. This is angle upon angle, triangles, poles, everything. It doesn't matter. Do you know why it works? It works because the quality of topology makes sense. Why? Because of the size of uh, these, uh, you know, faces, okay? These faces are small and they support the curvature, which means individual faces have not enough sort of a room, so they're not big enough to be bent, okay? You can see that this straight. Now let me show you a similar example with smaller faces, okay? So I'm gonna grab up the same plane, right? I'm gonna subdivide it fewer times, so maybe that many, and I'm gonna rotate it on 90 degrees, right? And then I'm going to apply rotation, and then I'm gonna go to hard ops, and I'm going to bend it, I'm going to twist it a bit more, and sharpen a bit more actually, there you go. Then I'm going to apply sub, I mean solidification, press 2. You can already see um, there is some kind of a distortion happening. And then I'm going to go to box cutter and I'm going to cut it through the same cut, guys. Okay, 80, 80 verts or 80 segments. And you can clearly see the problem already happening here in the mesh, right? So if I'm going to add a bevel here, everything is fine. So now you see that the topology type is the same, right? The same topology of it, angles, triangles, literally the same. But the density of it is different, which means the quality of topology is different, right? Now, the reason why this um, uh, we have this problem here is because the faces are too big. So if I'm gonna apply this, you can clearly see that this face is being bent. You see this shading distortion? This face is being bent by the curvature, whereas in this case, faces have no chance to be bent because it's simply too bloody small. Okay, so by creating smaller topology, you can actually um, create a better shading. So remember guys, when you have something that's curvy, okay, and you want to run bullions and bevels through it, uh, you do need to have enough topology to support the shading. This will simply not work. Let me go to Eevee very quickly, and I'm going to change the lighting to something a bit more strong, like a sun sunlight. There we go clearly can see the distortion here and that's caused by the size of these faces right and here we have nothing you know we have a little bit of distortion here but i haven't cleaned this boolean so watch this click out click go here boolean clean up 
and I'm going to clean this bullion here, right? I'm going to clean it up like that. And my sheeting is perfectly clean, okay? So if you use, you know, if you use smaller topology and you use uh, add-ons, which will help you to clean it up really quickly, you can create something extremely clean without any normal transfers. The only trick is you need to have topology dense enough. And here you can see that, you know, nothing can be done because these faces are simply too big. You need to start, you know, subdividing this topology. But again, the curvature is already created. So now here, if I, if I wanted to um, fix that, I would need to, you know, I would need to run um, maybe an edge here and split this face in half. And you can see now clearly that the shading is fixed, right? The problem here is that, you know, our modifier is applied, which means the you know we we are the bent this face which means the face are the bent but we relieved a little bit of pressure here so my very simple tip for you guys for you know beautiful shading would be to have a correct size faces for um, whatever you're trying to do if you have something bent and then you're trying to run bullion through it remember they're gonna be massive distortions because the face is gonna be you know curved so you need to subdivide the faces into um, faces that are small enough to support that kind of a shading. So regardless of the topology type, you can have clean shading and not the mess like this. This wouldn't work with quads either, just, just telling you. You would need to run sub D on top of it, right? Because simply these faces are way too big. So the problem is size, not the type of topology. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.